Cincy. Today we have the first uh, test run for the Diecast Masters uh, Western Star X49. So this is a ready to run truck uh, available on a few different websites. Uh, I think it just sold out on Amazon. I'm not 100% sure they do get stock all the time. At least the Diecast Masters seller. I'm sure there are other options as well. I did leave a link in the unboxing. And I'll also leave a link um, in this one as well for this truck. Uh, I think I paid right around 260, 270 ish range, something like that. Obviously, taxes are applicable or taxes may apply, so it's going to probably increase. I don't know why I try to say a silly word. Uh, taxes will increase the price of this vehicle, so just keep that in mind. Um, you can get it from like. Uh, you know overseas sellers and aliexpress and all those other ones i don't know what the prices are there but uh honestly this truck is incredible i absolutely love the way it looks it looks absolutely beautiful very scale this is 1 16th scale uh the only thing i've done is actually glue this exhaust because it fell on me um whenever i hit a bump and it would shake or whatever i was kind of rough on it <laughs> the other day playing with it and, and they would kind of pop out so i went ahead and glued this side stack which comes loose in the box and then this top piece right here so now it is officially glued on it shouldn't fall off really nice details uh i do plan on opening the truck honestly i plan on taking this cab off and getting a guy in there so to drive the truck because i want to do a very scale construction site uh, i got a couple of different figures they're all 116 scale and uh my excavator i'm going to be using is 116 scale i also ordered signs fences barricades cones tools pretty much i'm gonna have a full-blown construction site I, and i'm actually thinking about rolling a little ordering a little cat uh, roller for blacktop uh granted the dirt rollers are much bigger and i would love to have rc one but those are kind of pricey we'll see you never know what i'm gonna get um i've just been slowly kind of building it up and trying to really um get everything i need to make it a really nice construction site it is winter time it's much better in the summertime the dirt is much drier it's not so cold um but i did buy like 240 pounds of topsoil so i really want this to work out really nicely i guess any different dig sites i've done so i've done one there uh, obviously over there where i've done a construction site before that's where majority of my dirt went about 200 pounds of it and then I did put about 40 pounds over there. Uh, you can see that they are covered because of frost, uh, rain, all that. I don't want it to get real muddy and dirty. And I want to try to keep that dirt clean. Um, and that's the dirt I like to use. Um, so uh, this will be in that series. So I'll get more runtime with it, uh, more wear and tear to see how it performs, how it does, if it gets stuck, uh, lots of things. The main issue I had with the Huna or whatever version that's supposed to be 1 or 1 15th or 1 16th scale some of those are a little off and i'll explain that later but like some of them are off a little bit this one is truly 1 16th scale so it works well with the excavator plus those little figures should fit well in there so that's what i'm excited about so that one always had an issue of the front bumper being so low it was like the here i mean it was like from here is like the like here so it'd catch on grass dirt rocks pretty much everything so this being fully proportional fully proportional uh steering throttle and having light sounds i think the other one did have those features i feel like this has a little bit it's a little bit faster and it feels like it has a little bit more power uh, i don't know what size motors i'd imagine they're at least 380s the 
give it that kind of power. Maybe they have a dual motor setup, not 100% sure on that. Or if they just have one motor geared for both axles, because both of these axles spin. The drop axles will unclip and clip, so you can unclip them. Probably should reach under there. And then they'll ride down, and then they'll actually be able to turn when you turn the vehicle, so that's a nice feature. Um, you can see the little mud flaps. Mud flaps back here, that's very realistic nice steps this is all plastic though but it looks really well like it's not painted plastic it's like abs molded plastic so it looks very very nice um, i love it chrome looks good on there the mirrors just all the little details and of course you have spots where oh there is oh yeah you can hook a little chain here if you get stuck and then to, theoretically you could hook up a trailer to it which i have seen a couple of different trailers you can maybe put some tools uh, I wonder if they have a big enough trailer to um, uh, basically haul the excavator. I think it should theoretically have the power to do it. Um, as far as specs go, I did give all the specs in the unboxing, but I do believe it can haul like 11 pounds or something like that, uh, which is pretty impressive. Um, and uh, I can't remember the truck, how much the truck weighed. Uh, all that's in the unboxing if you want to know more you know, more details. Um, so basically, really quick, I'll just do another run through controller. That's how you start it. Now, when you back up and go forward, I don't think the motor revs up or anything as some of the nicer sound boxes will. It at least has a backup beeper. There is a center reverse light that lights up. It does have back lights. It does have turn signals on the back does have turn signals on the side. does have front lights, back lights. Obviously, they're out right now. Let me go ahead and turn them on. This button right here turns on your lights. So you can turn them off and on, which is nice. And then when you turn, you should have a turn signal. It does make a clicking noise. Um, and then, it, whoops, I didn't want to lift the bed. And then you can also see it's flashing. Whoops, it's flashing back here. So that's a really nice touch. The bed goes up and down nice and easy. Uh, the back of it opens up. So it all works relatively well. I'm impressed with it. Cool part is you don't have to go up and down. You could let it cycle and then come back down on its own. So that's kind of cool. A uh, little Western Star logo right there. Like I said, pretty darn detailed. And there's actually stickers on the interior on the driver's side. Shows like the um, center console and the gauges and everything. And there's actually a little logo on the steering wheel. So having a scale guy in there holding the wheel would look absolutely amazing. I'm sure you could do other little mods like putting a little servo, uh, wire harness splitter, and then the small little servo when the wheel turns, the other wheel turns. So you can do other mods. Uh, if you're good enough, you could literally cut those doors and put hinges on them. I mean, it's just, you could literally wire these ones because I don't think these light up. Yeah, you could literally wire these and get these uh, work running lights to wire and work, right? So I think that would be incredible if someone did that. You do have the room, you can literally run them through there, have the wires on on the backside, light all this up, go down through the cab and then connect to the battery. So you can get really creative, the rims look good. The tires uh, are a little hard, which is fine. It is also a little cold out, but you can squeeze them to have a little bit of give. Uh, same thing in the front, you can squeeze them. Give a little bit of give, but it's very cold out here. Makes them a little stiffer. I can see some of the screws and stuff here. These side rails are plastic. Pretty much everything on this besides the motor and electronics is plastic uh, in the battery, obviously. So keep that in mind. Um, but really for the price tag, you can't complain too much uh, because of all the features it has, how nice it drives, and it's a really, really nice truck. So, excuse me, so like a, a truck this size being hydraulic would be like four grand. Probably the cheapest you could find is maybe 2,800. So it's really not even a fraction of that cost. So that's where you're saving a ton of money. I would love for them diecast masters to make a diecast version like this. I'm sure that's something that works eventually. It'd probably be a little bit more pricier, but I would pay that extra price tag just to have this all metal no doubt not to take anything away from this this is a great truck 
So what I'm gonna basically do to test it out is I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna hold it in a way where I can hold the controller and the camera and I'll kind of follow it and drive around with it. Uh, I do plan on putting some serious weight in there. I should have brought my scale I have in the kitchen um, to weigh the amount of bricks I'm putting in there. Uh, I think I could look it up actually. These are heavy. These bricks are more than five pounds. Probably put a, a few of those would be more than impressive, right? So what we're gonna do, and the problem is you really can't dump it and I don't wanna strip the mechanism that lifts it up because uh, I've already had dirt in this. So I, I wanted to do a first run video the other night but it was so dark so quickly and it was so cold. Uh, and I think honestly, I did something where I messed up the footage anyways but it's technically not the very first run. I have driven it inside the home and then I did a little bit of running out here. So let's go ahead and just run it a little bit uh we can drive on the sand over there if you guys want but really you're gonna run this on like dirt maybe some grass definitely some asphalt so what we'll do is we'll just set it down this is really wet very very tall grass it's not the easiest thing to drive on just to give you an idea uh honestly the other truck would have already gotten hung up um so let's hold this from the sides because i want to be able to still here we go, use my two fingers and then, yeah, I can work with this. Here we go. So it is, uh oh. So if I get hung up, it's on like a stick or something. There we go. So you can go fast or slow. So you can see right there, made it through the wash gravel. It turns really well, reasonably for this large of a truck. Drop axles are not down. So you can see, you don't have to go that fast. You can literally, you can literally putt around like, like you can go as, as slow as you want to hold the stick. That's as slow as you're going to go. So you don't have to rip around. You can make it very scale. You turn on the turn signals. You can, you know, turn on the engine sounds and all that fun stuff. But if you want to get out of a pinch or go fast, you can. So I thought that was really cool. <laughs> so it drives really really well so on asphalt no problem whatsoever uh, any bumps you kind of hit it and challenge them see what i'm saying so i'll drive a little bit in the grass as long as you have momentum it really doesn't want to get hung up like unless it literally hits the frame or something like that to where it literally bumps it up to where the wheels just spin it's not gonna stop and mind you this is when i mean tall I mean tall, not your, <laughs> that's some tall grass. I've still got to get my bagger out. It's actually on the porch, I just haven't done it yet. So, right up to the, oh, there's a stick there. Right up there, no problem. Even up the hills, backing up them. So, it does really, really well. Um, that's cool, it's got a little poop shoot back there. Uh, that's what we call it in black top. But yeah, it's a really, really nice truck. I'm genuinely impressed. Now, will it drive on the sand? I don't know. Uh, let's try to drive all the way over there. We're gonna jump it. Nah, I ain't gonna jump it. I don't wanna mess it up. I'm, I'm gonna drive down the side up a little bit lower. So where we're getting stuck at, literally where it's getting hung up on the grass and the wheels are not touching the ground. Probably shouldn't drive on the sand, but oh well. No problem whatsoever. Even though it's sinking a little bit, the wheels seem to get decent traction. And mind you, it will do better. It will do better with weight on it, right? So we have to kind of figure that, that it will do better with weight. Um, so let's go ahead and grab it. And what we'll do, whoops, there's a controller in my pocket and I accidentally hit it. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, it drove through the sand. You can see where it's kind of sinking, but it still had plenty of traction. It still was able to get around. Uh, on the dirt so far, I had no issues of really getting stuck unless it's uncompacted, really soft or really muddy. Maybe it may get stuck. Uh, it drove just fine on the pea gravel. Uh, mind you, it's not super thick pea gravel. But basically what I want to do is I want to see how much weight to set this down. Oh, 
my pocket. I don't know why I didn't turn it off. Let's put that down. So what I want to do now is I want to grab really quickly a couple bricks. I just want to see the amount of weight it can handle. And then I'll later uh, weigh one, a couple of these bricks. And then that way we can get a reference. I don't even want to carry. It's cold. I'm only going to carry one at a time. I know it's kind of lazy, but I don't care. So let's try one brick. I don't think that's going to be no issue whatsoever. I could already tell you that. That is a lot of weight. But I don't think that's an issue at all. Yeah, I thought I didn't even, even notice it. What left up? Yeah, no problem. Okay. I don't want to hit that back gate and break it, by the way. You could tell if it's going to lift it, right? Let's go ahead and put us. I need to quit putting a controller in my pocket. Well, I got to carry it this way. I may put like some kind of. <gasps> oh no, I'm going to dump it and break my gate. Yep. There you go. I dumped it. <laughs> The brick got stuck, so let's... Oh, man. Hopefully it didn't damage anything. So let's go ahead and dump it down. Oops, wrong way. Yeah, you don't want to throw that off because it, like, opens up at a certain point. No, it seems to be closed pretty tightly. About the same as it was before. So let's set this brick in here. And then let's make it two bricks. Now that's quite a bit of weight. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful because the bricks will sign damage. I don't want to stuff it up and damage it too bad, but yeah, no problem. So let's go ahead and try to lift it. Yep, we'll still dump. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Let's set this controller right here this time so I don't break my truck. <laughs> before I even get to use it in my construction site. That's what all this was honestly intended is for a really nice, fun construction site. I love construction, hence I do blacktop. So um, yeah, this is three bricks. Um, and are the wheels squatting or anything? No, not really. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if it'll drive. <laughs> Actually, look. Hold on, watch, watch the front end. It, it, it lifts up the front of the truck. <laughs> that has got some serious power. So, definitely driving with that kind of weight is not going to be an issue. Now, what I'm worried about is lifting it. You know what? It'll still dump it. Let me show you that it will dump it. See? Yeah. So that is absolutely freaking incredible. That is incredible. That is how many bricks? Three. I don't think it's, I don't think it's gonna lift four. It's gonna be kind of pushing it on that mechanism. It's technically not on the front of it. It's technically kind of towards the back. That puts a lot of strain on it. I do not want to break this because I don't think they have parts for this. Like if you break this, you're probably gonna have to buy it. <laughs> so let's go ahead there is a little tiny piece miss, but that's still extremely that's still a lot of freaking weight oh yeah <laughs> you know watch out dude that is crazy amount of weight there's no way it's left and it's you gotta think the weight's towards the front and the mechanism is about right about here so that's extreme amount of weight I want to do it really bad. I'll try. Oh, I see the problem. Not that it can't do it, but it looks like the bed's about to break. Watch. See that? Whoa. That's about its limit. I bet if it was back a little bit. Oh, I don't want to scratch that. I bet it was right here. I bet you anything it would dump it. It may flip the truck. You gotta watch it. Let's see. Uh, yeah. It will dump it. So that's what it literally was. Where the mechanism was in a bed right here. Let's go a little bit forward. I mean, that's at the absolute limit. Let's see. Yeah. It will straight up dump that. 
Holy smokes, am I impressed. That's in the center of the bed. I am extremely, extremely impressed. Uh, I don't know what the WL Toys one would do, uh, the amount of weight, but that is extremely impressive. I really wanted to get some gravel and literally like pile it up like it would be a very heavy load, but there's no amount of gravel that's gonna weigh four bricks. I can tell you that right now. So that's literally the most impressive thing I've ever seen. Let's make sure the bed goes up perfectly fine and we didn't damage anything. Yep, everything's perfectly fine. Like it never happened. Whoa, that is impressive. So if it's all the way in the front, the mechanism is about like right there. And the band was like twisting from the amount of weight. Uh, that's crazy. Uh, yeah. So basically you can dump four bricks. That is extremely impressive. I'm not doing more than that. So I'll probably damage the hinge. Not that the motor can't do it, I think, more than anything. I think it'll damage the actual hinge. Now, if they made this all metal, it could probably dump even more. And they beef up that motor with a bigger motor mechanism. Uh, maybe have another mechanism to assist it in the front or move the mechanism a little bit more forward. And it'll give it more angle as well. Make that a little longer like a hinge system. Dude, that would be crazy. Uh, the hydraulic ones are really powerful and they have no issue carrying and dumping a lot of weight. For a ABS plastic truck, I am more than impressed. So that's basically the first run. Um, as far as loading into it, uh, that's gonna fall on what machine you have. Um, the 580, I'm gonna do a video which is basically, the WL Toys one is basically the 580 but just ABS plastic. So it has the same reach, same everything as the 580, same uh, server worm driven, electronic, uh, and electronically driven. And then of course I also have a hydraulic excavator. So I'm gonna end up doing a comparison video comparing the two excavators. And then in that comparison video, it's gonna be how easy it is to load with each one. And then obviously loading in this particular dump truck. So stay tuned for that video. Um, it's really gonna be, I think the best, um, the, the best uh, affordable hobby grade entry level excavator. Uh, and then basically the best uh, professional grade entry level excavator, in my opinion, because honestly the 580, uh, the all metal one is when I was looking for them at the time, and I have, I have, I've had a Tong Long. I actually sold it to a buddy of mine, and I could still get access to it to do videos on it and stuff. But I sold it to a buddy of mine to be nice because I knew I was getting another one for a comparison, and he really wanted one, and I saved him quite a bit of money. I actually sold him the dump truck as well, the yellow one. And honestly, I can get a, I can get a access to both of them. It's no issue. But really, what impressed me about the WL Toys is the cost comparison. It was like basically half right and it can it had it had the same power if not a little bit faster arm uh, a smoke machine that still works to this day the only thing that quit working on the 580 was the smoke machine so really i was just really impressed and that comparison needs to be done against uh is it worth it to you guys to spend the extra money for a hydraulic one at least the entry level one so there's going to be that full comparison it's basically going to be the wl toys versus obviously the um the uh cobalt 336 so that video is going to be interesting stay tuned for that that pretty much concludes this video it's pretty peppy it's fast it's got power it's got lights it's got sounds uh, it's got mm, pretty powerful uh little motor and it lifts up i'm beyond impressed with that the little gate lifts up it has backup beeper backup lights um you know turn signals it just, it, it impressed me, honestly. Uh, it really impressed me, um, you know. And those bricks slid, let's see. No, it's wiping right off. Look at that, look at that, it's wiping right off. Those bricks on it really didn't damage. I mean, unless you're like extremely, extremely, let's see if this wipes off. Here's the test right here. Yep, wiped right off. So this ABS plastic is pretty durable. Uh, it, I pushed it to its limit. 
Um, <laughs> I like to push things to the limit just to see how, you know, what it can handle. And for sure, it can handle a very large, heavy load. Uh, wet dirt, dirt, rocks, gravel. Uh, it's probably not, it's going to come close to that amount, but it will do it. Uh, and being dirt and all that will be kind of more leveled through the bed. It won't be so concentrated. So that'd be like the worst case scenario was when I had it all the way forward. So I think you're in good hands with this truck. Uh, time will tell, uh, with honestly, with products like this, anything product that's over a hundred, I like to do like, or not even a hundred, but like, even like the, for instance, the, um, drift vehicle I had, you know, I upgraded the battery. I've had that vehicle for going on two years and it's still holding up with the battery, battery mod I did. Whatever mod I do is for the long term. It's not something that's going to burn up or damage your system. It is a brushed motors in those cars. I'm impressed they can last two years. Honestly, if you get two, three years out of a brushed motor of playing with it all the time, then you won, um, <laughs> in my opinion. So if I do any modification, it is for the long, it, it's a modification that won't affect the longevity. Uh, that'll still perform well and but be a better experience overall so i think i achieved that with that one uh this one not sure what mods i would like to do for it honestly definitely the guy in there for sure maybe do the led lights in here to light up the um running lights and then maybe uh, some other little like detail oriented touches right so i'll do a video on all that once i figure out what exactly what i want to do with it uh, as far as the battery goes I think I have three or four batteries that'll work in this. So I have more than one battery so I can haul and run it for, you know, I think it says anywhere from, depending on if you have the lights on, if you have the sound on, if you're constantly driving or if you're sitting there getting loaded, the runtime could be very long on it. So it just all depends what you're doing with it, right? So that's cool. The controller is decent. It's not bad. I would probably have preferred a pistol grip, but I tell you what, these like game style controllers fit really well in your hand. And I was able to use my fingers like this on either side to hold the phone. And that's what I basically did. Um, two batteries, very simple. Uh, it does have trims for the steering if it's drifting off to the right or left. So that's cool. You know, you're able to separate the sound and the uh, lights. I love that you can do that. Uh, you're able to dump, drive it, proportional everything. So I think that's really, really cool. Just watch it when you're first driving. It is a little peppy, which I like though. I would rather it be a little overpowered for scale than underpowered, right? So, and you can go slow, obviously. I showed that. So honestly, uh, so far, so good, right? So far, so good. Uh, stay tuned for the the WL Toys, um, basically the 16800 and the Cobo Light uh, comparison. It's gonna be involving some loading just to see how well they load onto this truck. So that way you'll have an idea with this truck. Uh, there will It will be in the construction site videos and all those other fun videos, uh, all those scale videos. This will be in there, I promise you that. And uh, I think that covers everything that I want to do today. There are going to be more videos on it, but just for now, uh, it's extremely cold. It's like 36 degrees in Cincinnati, so it is very cold. I'm probably going to go inside and warm up, but I just wanted to get the kind of first test out of the way, uh, and that's pretty much it. So that's crazy how fast this truck is. Dude, it's faster than most like radio control vehicles. Wow, look how perfectly straight that goes. That's pretty good trimming out of the box. Uh, and the funny part is when you hit it, like it, like the front end kind of lifts up a little bit. It's kind of hilarious. Uh, I think the mud flaps look good with the little logos on it. It's just a lot of, the more I look at it, the more little detail I see with the mirrors and everything. So yeah, definitely do a little dab of glue on this and obviously that side as well, just so it doesn't, you don't hit a bump and it falls off. Uh, it, it happened to me, so that's how I'm recommending that. So you can see I've driven back and forth really fast and it has not moved. It has not gotten closer to the bricks or anything. So that is really, really impressive. So there you have it, guys. That's going to do it for the Diecast Masters X49 uh, dump truck. Uh, stay tuned. There's going to be tons more to come. Stay tuned for the construction site. It's just the beginning of that. It's going to get a lot of work done. Uh, very, very. I'm going to try to go very scale with that. And then in the same process, I get to <laughs> fill this pond up. So it's like a double... Well, it's killing a bird with two stones or killing two birds with one stone, whatever you want to call that. So uh, there's that.
and then uh, stay tuned for the comparison videos. I am gonna probably grab that other truck off of him though, because I wanna do a comparison between this truck and the other one, seeing which one is better. Honestly, uh, owning both, I like this one better. I'm just gonna be 100% honest. It uh, looks better. Uh, performance, it is faster and fully proportional. I think that one was proportional, but I don't think it was this fast. Uh, as far as power goes, I did throw some bricks in that one. I don't remember how many. I know I've done at least two or three. I've thrown some big rocks in there as well. Uh, clearance, this one's better. The drop axles, the detail, I think this one is better. Um, what else? They both have sound and lights. Uh, it's just going to really, I'm going to need to revisit it, grab them both, and just put weight in them, and then put them through a couple tests, and just see which one is the winner, right? That's the best way to do it. So stay tuned for that. That will be coming uh, soon I just got to get with him uh, and then uh, we may have a four-way comparison video for the excavators technically I have three I did have four I did sell one uh, I thought actually buying it back off of them not 100% sure on that because I even considered doing a uh, really quickly I even considered doing a hydraulic uh, upgrade to one of my excavators and I thought the best one to do it because hydraulic creates a lot of power and stress uh, on the joints and on the arm itself is doing it to the 580 all metal. So if you own a 580 and you're like, man, I wish I had the Cobalite one that's hydraulic, but it's, you know, you already invested what, 500 bucks in your 580. You don't want to go out and spend, you know, another 1500, 1200, depending on what, what price you get it for. But I've seen it as low as 1100 and some change obviously with shipping would have been like 12 13 basically what i got it for and then i've seen it all the way up to 2000 so it's a very very wide range there but that would be amazing if you spend because i actually saw a kit the other day and it was only like 580 dollars 580 or 590 dollars for a full hydraulic setup for a 580 obviously you need a 580 to start with and then uh i think you also need a free sky or fly sky oh, it may have came with the radio as well if not, that radio is not very expensive. So uh, that would be incredible to do that mod. Uh, I really, really want to do that. I, w I don't really want to do it to the, uh, I could theoretically do it to the WL toys because it would be replacing the arm anyways. And if I could replace the arm and maybe the back shell and paint the rest, or I don't know, I'm sure I could come up with something, but I, I think I would rather do it to a metal one, right? just because of durability. I have not had issues. Everyone says durability, durability. I have not had issues with the WL toys. So stay tuned for all those comparisons and all that information and all that fun stuff. So that's going to do it for this one. Sorry, I get a little sidetracked. Man, that thing is sharp. So can't wait to see what else we have in store for this. So as always, thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. My hands are freezing.